streamer revisions and uh, the, what different way I'm going to offer you is the approach because uh, most of the, us, we are doing the revision searches by the posterior approach. And uh, as you have seen in this, uh, uh, this uh, conference, Congress as well, that uh, you have seen uh, direct entry approach on the normal table, you have seen direct entry approach by the, by the, by the MAKO as well, and more of the people are adopting direct entry approach, you are soon going to see all these cases as well. So this is the case which was done by the direct entry approach referred to us. If you see the incision, it's the NTA incision. Patient presented three months after the surgery, failed cup on the one side, and uh, well, uh, doing a good, uh, I mean, fairly doing hip on the op opposite sides. The, what are the technical challenges here is, the workflow of the direct end approach is like you cut the neck, you remove the neck and head in one piece, and then you start looking at the establum. Here, you can't remove the neck because uh, adequately sized and uh, uh, going to osteointy grade stem is there so you want to retain it the technical tips which we have to discuss here is how to to deal with the stem and uh, go ahead with the revision surgery for the stablum so uh, i went to visit my friend uh, johan in vienna last year and he showed me a few technical tips how to revise the stablum while retaining the stems this was the tip which i got from him uh, on the left side is his steps and the right side is our surgery. On the, if you see on the right, on the left side, so you put the limb on traction. So when you get a traction, you get a space between the head and the establum. Now you disengage the head within the cup uh, from the neck and then you external rotate the stem and then you have a space to remove the head and the cup as well. So you have seen on the opposite side. So this, uh, the stable is a tool because it will help you to keep that limb in continuous traction and help you to keep that limb in a, in a certain, uh, certain place for a substantial period of time when you're working on the further stabulum. And after when you are done with it, you will start seeing the, seeing the stabulum something like this. You can see here the stem which has been external rotated and placed in the pocket in the superior posterior area of the stabulum. And then you can work on the stabulum and you can do the revision on the stabulum side. So these are the, these are the patient x-rays on the six months. Uh, second case is the failed THR. Uh, I mean, uh, it's not a difficult case for the posterior approach surgeon because I, have, I was doing the revision surgery with the posterior surgery for posterior approach for the for quite a uh, long period of four five years. But for the right side, I mean, uh, we decided to go by the direct inter approach because of certain reasons. Because the column is very long, I'm not going to revise my. Uh, femur with an uncemented stem and going to remove all the cement column. It has to be cement and cement on the femur side. And the stablum is the main thing which has to target and has to be uh, went into it. So we had, uh, I mean, certain experience with the direct end approach. So I, uh, I pushed myself to go for a revision surgery for the, for, the, for the stablum side on the right side. So this was the incision. You can see here, this is the posterior approach uh, done around 20 years back. And now I'm going to revise on the uh, revise on the same side with the direct end approach. If you see the mm -hmm. femur is well placed in the posterior side, the cement call is cement in, uh, still in. If you see, it's a, it's a very predictable establishment reconstruction because now you can see what you're putting in. You can see your ischial screw, you can see your pubic <coughs> screw, you can see your screws over going towards the iliac region. So the, the establishment reconstruction is more predictable because the patient is supine and uh, the CM is incorporated into your establishment reconstruction. So and the femur is cement in cement. So these are the x-rays, you get a good uh, uh, leg length and this is the female, I mean less blood loss going to the fresh planes at discharge uh, at two weeks and at four months. So if you see the patient is relatively okay with the, with the drain and the follies on in the day two period and she's doing fairly well at the four months, good osteointegration. So the third case which I ventured in was this revision. It was fairly difficult revision but uh, because I wanted to revise the stem with the cement and cement on the femur side and I wanted to do a stabular reconstruction on the, on the, on, uh, under the CM guidance on the right side. So this we go ahead with the stabular reconstruction. If you see here, I have not removed the stem rather retain the stem because of the uh, poor bone quality because of the angst pond patient there is a plate on it i don't know how was the quality of the quality of the bone on the femoral side is so i retained the stem and i did a uh, 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 sizing of the uh, cup on the under the c arm then impaction of the bone under the c arm the screws on the on the ischial side and the pubic side under the CM, then the cage was added. So everything went well as, as it was expected under the CM guidance. And these are the x-rays of the, as the six months. 
the left side and the right side and patient is post waiting for the uh, revision on the opposite side. So why, uh, why direct interior approach? It's another approach you can do with the posterior approach. Why I'm doing it? Because the, I have more predictable ischial screw and pubic screw placement which is two sector placement which has already been discussed. So it becomes more predictable and uh, to put these screws under the C arm in a supine position. These are my x-rays which I have done my reconstructions with the posterior approach. If you see my ischial screws and pubic screws, they are not too great for me. But when I'm doing with the direct inter approach with the table, so supine position, C arm and table gives me some kind of cushion to work on uh, in a more predictable way. The HL screws are more predictable, the, the pubic screws are more predictable and the stability reconstruction is more predictable. Thank you.